Green Fox family. Welcome back in. Today, we're going through legs, uh, legs and core. So, what we're gonna do is, I mean, what we're gonna need is, you'll need a chair, and you'll need something to be able to slide out with. So either, uh, either sliders, either sliders, or like a towel or something like that. Uh, even uh, the bits of a uh, Tupperware, uh, of a Tupperware container, something like that will work. And then your backpack, you can use a backpack uh, just for a little added weight for our first uh, superset we're gonna do. Uh, since I'm here, I get to use a weight in the backpack, but anything will add weight to the backpack. I'm just zipping it up and putting it on. But, so our first exercise we're gonna do is, we're gonna do uh, step ups and reverse lunges at the same time. So we're gonna work a little bit more on stability and really driving up into it and then stepping back off. Make sure my sliders don't get in the way. All right, so what we're gonna do is we'll start off with your foot in the, uh, Start off with your foot in the chair. Uh, I guess the start of the rep will be foot down. So we're here. Step, try up. Back down, and then back off. So we're working uh, glutes on this side, and then working quads as we drive up on the other side. We'll go through that, working one leg first, and then uh, we'll come back and hit the other side on the other leg. Uh, but that's our first superset. Uh, I'm already warmed up. Let's go ahead and get it if, you want it, if you're ready. All right, so I'm starting off left foot, driving up, step back down, step back, drive up one, step up, down, back, two. Good. 
take the bag off, take a rest if you need to. We'll take about 30 seconds, and then we'll get back into it. But the idea is to get y'all to work a little bit on balance and to be able to hit quads and glutes on both sides. I think this time we're gonna try out, we're gonna try out swapping feet each time. So it would be even an even rep. Then we might be able to push it up a little bit higher. The right side burns a lot more than the left. I don't know about you. Alright. Couple more seconds. Foot's weakness for you. Grab one is weakness for me. I get that a lot of times. All right. So grab up, back down, and back. One. Swap the feet. Left up. Down. And back. And back up. That's two. I mean, that's one on both sides. Grab foot up. Grab up. Down. And back. Two, up, down, back, two, down, back, three, three, four, Uh, I like to alternate 
sorry I get a little confused with my numbers, but we'll go ahead and still keep that up. So, right leg up, drive up, back down, back, middle, left foot, drive up, down, back, middle for one, upright, back, middle, left foot up, drive up, down, back, middle for two, right, up, down, back, middle, left, up, down, back, middle, three, three up, down, back, four on the right, up, down, back, four on the left, up and right, one, five on the right, left foot up, down, back, five on the left, up, down, back, six on the right, left up, down, back, up, six piece, right, up, down, back, up, seven, left up, up, down, back, up, seven on the right, my right and left, right up, one, eight, left foot up, back down, back, eight apiece, right up, keep it going, keep it going, I feel burning, doing good, ten, left up, down, back, ten apiece, I can skip nine. Up, back, middle for 11. Left up, down, back, middle for 11. Right, up, down, back, 12. Left up, down, back, 12. I think I skipped one, so I'm going one more rep. You can take a rest. Up, down, back, middle 12. Left up, down, back, 12. Very good. Take the stag backpack off now. <coughs> All right. Very nicely done. Grab some water. Catch your breath. We're done with the chair. So, you can move it out of the way. Now, we'll choose our sliders and our mat. You could add your backpack to your hips right here. I ain't gonna get that shot. Uh, could add your backpack to your hips right here. It'll give you more going into these hamstring sliders. Give you a little bit more weight on your quads so that it's pressing down. Makes your hamstrings have to track more to move. But the super step we're gonna do next is and you look a little more. Superset we're going to do next is hamstring slide outs like we've done before. You can go, I want you to press out with both no matter what. Press out with both no matter what. Some hips come up, drive out. Then if you can't bring both back in, you'll drive out, bring back in one and then the other. Drive out. With both. Bring back in the opposite one and then the other, which I described in the same one. But for somebody who needs the weight, you want and your backpack to your hips. So it makes you have to engage a little more pressing up. Drive out. Bring it back in. I won't be able to do both doing that, so I won't use it. Then our second exercise is going to be uh, bent knee windshield wipers. So, you put your hands out to the side to stabilize the body. Knees bent, 
low back press in the mat, and you can do straight leg. I'm gonna go bend knee because I don't have the mobility, but rotate over and drive back up. Really press over into it, engage your core, and bring your body back up to where your knees are straight up. Make sure your knees are bent here. You're trying to get your core to twist and drive your leg up. All right, so should be rested up by now. We'll go ahead and get this next exercise. Remember, like I said, driving out with both, pulling back in with one. All right, so really drive your bow back down, then drive your hips up, engage your glutes hard, press both feet out, take your time, and then pull back in. One, driving out, back in. Two, out, back in. Three, out, back in. Four, out, back in. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 11, 12. 12 is what I got. You can go a little higher if you need to. Pause it if you need to go higher. But we're going to get into our rotations. Uh, it can make it a little harder on your core by not putting your arms down to stabilize. You can go elbows down, shorten that lever. I think I'm going to try that this time. Because you want to feel it through here, through your obliques, side of your abs. Alright, so low back into the floor, rotate knees down towards the ground, keep your shoulder blades on the ground, drive up. That's one. Rotate over, shoulder blades down, two. Shift, 11, keep it up, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Woo. Very good. Very nicely done. 
grab you a little rest in between there. Not much, because we're not working the same muscle groups. Uh, but you're gonna need your sliders again. You've got about 15 more seconds. We're gonna put them underneath there. There should be plenty of rest for our hamstrings to be able to get back into it and put out full effort. Alright, go ahead and grab your hips up. Hips towards the ceiling as hard as you can, glutes engaged. Drive out slow. Pull back in. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Ooh, barely got that last one. All right. So now we're getting straight back into our heel taps. Breathe out. Crunch up into it. Go on left side, then right side. So one. One, two, really reach past that foot, engage here, three, four, five, six, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, oops, that's 18. 19, 20, Whew. very good, good, next, if you're really lifting your shoulders up and crunching past that foot as much as you can, so trying to take this part of your side and make it as small as possible, feeling it through here, you get a lot out of that one. All right, about another 15 more seconds, we'll start with hamstring curls. It takes a good amount of time to do our our heel taps, so we should be fully rested by the end. All right, two more seconds. Grab your hips up. We're gonna get towards the end of the mat. Grab your hips up. Engage your glutes. Engage your core. Have to tilt your pelvis up. Drop out with your feet. Back in, one, two, three, and take the time, pause out at the bottom, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Ten, oof, eleven, twelve. Very good. How about those? Those will strengthen the backs of your knees too. So if you have any kind of knee problems, it should help since it ties in around the front of that knee. All right. So I got our heel taps, and then we get into our next exercise, and we'll be done for the day after them. After we do those three times. All right, so crunch up, engage your core, drive that hand past your foot as much as you can. One, two, really crunch this side. Three, four, five, six, Seven, 
think I'll fold my mat this next time. Get a little more padding under my knees. All right, so I'm gonna try on my elbows this time. Trying to go for 15 again. All right, let's go ahead and get it. No rest in between, it's kind of strong. All right, so knees underneath your hips, elbows underneath your shoulders. Bring your knees off the ground to hover. Straighten out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Very good. You can go higher if you want to. That's why I'm gonna stop that today on those. Alright, coming up onto my mat, gave myself a little extra padding. Hands on my sliders, hips shift forward. If you can, cross your legs over if you want to, it's up to you. But, let's go ahead and get it. Drive out as low as you can go. Back up, one. Really engage your core as you do. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Last one. In. Very good. Up step to the right one we're going to do. We got one last set and we'll be done. Catch your breath just a second so we can get maximum reps. Let's go ahead. Oops. Didn't mean to burp on camera. <laughs> it's weird when you're by yourself. Anyways, so let's try to go 20 on the uh, extensions. I'm going to have those down. It seems to be a little harder for me. Change the lever of it. I got to press a little high. You can to make it harder, put your feet on a chair and straighten out, but I don't want to mess with, it, with uh, doing that today. So, I figured we just go ahead and try elbows and hands, figure out the exercise for ourselves. All right, so, elbows underneath your shoulders, knees underneath your hips, toes planted in the ground. Cover your knees off the ground. Straighten out. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. 19, 20. Very good. Very nicely done. If you're not feeling that so much in your quads, you can get another, another round. Uh, really straighten out your leg as much as possible so your quad contracts as hard as possible. All right, slide out one last time, and we're done for the day. All right, hands underneath your shoulders. Hips out in front of your knees, so to really, really engage the core. So I don't want them all shifted back here. I want you to try to keep them out in front the whole time. All right, so let's go. Drive out, back up. One, two. Gonna try to drive that low back to the ceiling to engage the core. Three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I'm holding on this last one. 
sin. I don't know much, but I want him to get back up. All right, that is it for today. Get up with all this mess. I appreciate all y'all. I hope y'all have a great. Hopefully it's your Tuesday. If not, whatever day it is, have a great one.